Hi, so today in this video, we are going to be working with the summation notation, right? This that's, is this letter, big letter here, called sigma in Greek. And it means that I'm going to add the value of whatever that expression inside of that parenthesis, substituting it for n from 1 through 5. So this means that in this case, I'm going to have 1 squared plus 5, right? then plus 2 squared plus 5 plus 3 squared plus 5 plus 4 squared plus 5 and plus 25 or let's do it 5 squared plus 5 right. so this is the same as 1 plus 5 plus 4 plus 5 plus 9 plus 5 plus 16 plus 5 plus 25 plus 5. Right? So when I add everything, I'm going to have that 1 plus 5 plus 4 plus 5 and so on. It's going to be 80. Okay. Again, I have my data right here, my sigma. So that means that I have a sum right here of 10 and going from 0 to 5. So this is the same as 10 to 0 plus 10 to the 1 plus 10 square plus 10 cube plus 10 to the 4 plus 10 to the fifth, right? So this is 1 plus 10 plus 100 plus 1,000 plus 10,000 plus 100,000. So at the end, this is 1. So as you can see, this is not, and it's not hard, right? That expression can complicate or be a little bit more harder or something, but at the end, you're substituting from that uh, inferior limit to that superior limit. So it's from zero to five. So in this exercise, you can see that this is an arithmetic series because my difference between each number right here is three, right? So you can see right here that my difference, so D is 3, right? So I need to find my equation so I can write a uh, summation notation. So I'm going to go and substitute that on A sub n equals A sub 1 plus n minus 1 times D. So I'm going to substitute this information. So I have a sub n equals 3 plus n minus 1 times 3. So when I distribute, I have 3 plus 3n minus 3. So this is 3n. So I have my equation 3n. So now in this case, I'm going to write the uh, notation, the sigma n equals 1 because we're starting on the first one. In this case, it's easy because we just need to count. We don't need to use the formula to find n. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So on my top limit is 7 and 3n right there. And that's it. My last one. Again, I want to start by finding my formula. So a sub n equals the first term, negative 19 plus n minus 1 times the difference that is 5. So I'm going to simplify that equation. 19 plus 5n minus 5. So 5n minus 24 is my equation. But in this case, because I have all those that right here, that means that I have a lot of numbers or terms in between those. So I need to find the n value. What position is the 226, right? So I'm going to substitute on that same equation. So 226 equals 5n minus 24 plus 24 plus 24. So this is 250 equals 5n. I'm going to divide by 5. So n is 50. So that means that the 226 is on the 50th position of that arithmetic uh, uh, sequence, right? So again, I'm going to write my notation. I'm going to go from n equals 1 to 50. 
And now I'm just going to write my equation. Remember that my equation is this one right here. So 5n minus 24. 